Hi folks, myself Raj. I'm back again. Welcome to our channel Code Shack. And today we are doing episode 2 and the discussion topic is loan interest. So if you are looking for a loan, then the most important thing is to shop around so that you can get the best rate. Comparing loan rates from different lenders is very very important. that can help you understand which loan and what rate is best for you according according to us you can go for pre approval but we don't think pre approval has got like any value it's just like nothing but a waste of time i know most of the lenders nowadays will say that uh, we won't be able to say yeah you the interest rate until you fill the pre approval uh that's that's quite common for nowadays but pre approval means nothing it just like sharing your personal information with the financial institution if you are pre approved that doesn't mean that you are you are been approved or you will be getting your loan approved so yeah, it's it's very true that nowadays most of the financial institution will tell you will will not tell you rates until you fill their pre approval form that that's nothing but to get your financial uh, sorry your personal information so that the financial institution can share your personal information with their marketing analytical team to study more about you about your daily spending about your money habits so that they can create a report and based on that they can do marketing uh, or sales by phone or by email by text whatever they want so pre approval is just a, a mode for the financial institution through which they can do their marketing to get your to get your in details so you have to check the interest rates from different lenders and also you going to see the most of the lenders will say uh, this is the apr that that would be the apr so go so when you see the apr keep the apr side by side uh and uh, with the funds offered and then you try to understand how much funds are actually offered for each private lender or financial institution as per their rates and check what significant changes are there uh, uh, on the loan rates with the loan amount like you are you are discussing with one financial lender lender or financial institution they give you the loan amount as well as the apr uh, then you move to another lender you ask from them the amount and the apr or the interest rate so comparing the two you going to be able to understand like what and how much you going to pay back so that would give you like a calculation and that would help you in getting the best rate as well as saving a some sort some sort of money in the long run and uh so it, it's 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 creates like a very very significant role for you if you can do a do shop around the uh, probably that will save you in the long run so you may also see most of the lenders will say annual percentage rate or apr then what is apr apr is the annual percentage rate which may be defined as the interest rate paid each year on an outstanding loan amount apr also represents the estimated cost of the yearly fees associated with some types of borrowings uh it's more or less like the standard calculation used mostly by the lenders as a financial matrix to help borrowers understand the implied returns and compare with different loan options so what i'm going to do i'm going to share the apr formula in the description box you guys can check out also if you want you can put up your loan amount the interest rate and can check so apr for mortgage is to is is 
the is the total yearly cost associated with the borrowed fund from a financial institution more fees associated rather the interest rather than the interest expense are considered in the apr of a loan so more the fees are associated rather than the interest expense and apr for revolving credit uh, it determines the amount of interest uh, that is due based on the carrying balance from month to month so it is it is the bill so for example if the bill is paid in full within the timeline uh, then no interest is incurred so since no no interest is incurred so no payment is pending so what i'm going to say is like uh, if you are considering for a revolving credit it's more or less depends on the balance that is left if there is any paid balance left then the interest comes into play if there is no balance if the balance is paid within the stipulated time period then there would be no interest incurred and there would be no payment pending so what you're going to do you're going to discuss some more key points that might be helpful for you in comparing the loan interest rate so as we we were discussing the annual percentage rates so it, it provides a more comprehensive picture of the total cost of borrowing then comes the fixed and variable rates so when you are discussing with the lender make sure you ask them whether the loan is a fixed interest rate or it's coming with a variable interest rate so fixed interest rate is more or less remain constant throughout the loan period a variable rate can change as it is based on the market uh, market condition like if the prime rate goes up then the interest rate uh, can go up if the prime rate comes down then the interest rate can come down so there are there are advantage of variable rate like if you are getting a loan on a high interest later on if the prime rate is coming down if the prime rate is coming down then probably in the long run you might be benefited in paying a lesser amount of interest but it's all depends on you how you are looking in or how you are planning so if you are good with a fixed rate interest for the entire period definitely should go for a fixed rate and based on the economic condition at this time so it's better to go for fixed or better to go for variable you can decide based on your financial situation so fixed rate are provide provide a stability while variable rate may offer initial cost saving but ca but carry the risk of increasing over time increasing or might be decreasing so loan term this is also a very important part while you are going for a loan the length of the loan term can affect the overall cost of your loan shorter term typically have higher monthly payment but lower total interest cost while longer terms may result in lower monthly payment but higher overall interest payment but it's it depends on your budget too like if you feel like a uh, higher monthly payment would be comfortable or it's set within your budget then definitely you can go for a higher monthly payment with a shorter term that will save some short, some amount of money for you but if you feel like uh, your budget is tight and you are comfortable with the longer term with the lower monthly payment definitely you should go for that so it's it's totally depend on your financial situation your income your budget and your monthly expenses then the loan amount so another very important part for you is the loan amount how much you want so different lenders when you are visiting different lenders so different lenders may offer different rates based on the loan amount sometime if you are going for a bigger amount you might get a lower rate of interest and sometime if you are asking for a smaller amount then the lender might ask you a higher rate of interest so loan amount also plays a uh, some some sort of important role in regard to the interest rate too so some lenders may provide better rates for larger 
or smaller loan amounts then there is the credit score your credit score play a significant role on the interest rate you qualify for generally individuals with higher credit scores are eligible for lower interest rates so uh, if you uh, so uh, nowadays like most of the banking apps they provide you with uh, with a credit score check op credit report check option so you can you can just check your credit score right over there and you can understand what's the what what score you are having and then based on that you can you can talk with your lender uh, beforehand like this is this is my score around this is my score approximately so how much interest rate should i get so yeah that that would be helpful because uh, most of the lenders still they are reliant on the credit score based on the score they try to put or uh, make the loan interest rate so uh, so obtain your credit score before applying for loans to have an idea of the rates you might qualify for then the loan feature consider any additional features or benefits offered by the lender ask the lender if they if they are adding or if they are giving some extra benefit for your loans like uh, uh, like if you can make extra payments down the way you, after taking the loan after 6 months you want to pay extra payment so at that time when you went for went to the lender to make a payment the lender says no if you make a payment we will add a fee so make sure talk with the lender ask the lender that is there any extra feature with your loan like can you make extra payment without penalties is there a loan repayment prepayment option like if you are if you want to pay the loan after one year if you pay early is there any fees associated or is there any other kind of perks that the lender are giving you with your loan also check the lender's reputation there are lots of lenders around in the market so it's better to check the customer review so that it can give you like a feedback what kind of lender what's the reputation how they are treating with their clients so before before you take a move to the lender in asking for any kind of financing it's better to check what kind of lender or what the reputation of the lender is in the market and the last one is the loan type that's that's a very important thing is as there are different types of loans and uh, interest rate structures vary or differ from loans to loan from loan to loan so make sure you are comparing the rates for specific type of loan you are looking for like for a personal loan that's a different interest rate comes into play when you are asking for like an auto loan or if you're going for a mortgage so different loans have different uh, loan structures sorry interest rate structures so better when you are uh, when you are talking with your lender when you're discussing with your lender just select the loan and then negotiate the rate of interest so cho choose a loan that fits your financial needs and goals so that's i i told before also that's the very important thing choose uh, first select the decide how much you need and then select the purpose and check whether the loan um, loan you are getting from the lender fulfills your purpose that's that's a very important need like you have to choose a loan that fits your financial needs and the goals otherwise it's gonna be uh, trouble it can create a troublesome situation for you because if you need 10 grants and you are getting five grants then there is a short of 5000 you have to borrow somewhere else to fill that 5000 to make it 10000 so that can create a financial hurdle or a cash crunch situation for you so better than uh, suffering later better to check before you proceed so don't rush keep your patience shop around talk with the lenders and go slow do not go in a rush so that's that's everything for today uh, we will again come back with a new episode 
and best of luck in your loan search and have a wonderful rest of your week we'll see you again in the next episode take care